Hello every Skyrim buddy! Well, I wanted to start off by mentioning the third DLC pack, which Bethesda teased for a little while, and they finally released a trailer. Uh, they released the trailer uh, Monday the 5th, I think. Anyway, I watched it. I'm going to do a scene-by-scene -scene analysis um, this weekend, so my talk show will actually feature the scene-by-scene -scene analysis. Anyway, we're going back to the Morrowind Isle of Solstheim, and uh, that was the setting of one of the DLC packs in Morrowind, which I think was Blood Moon. Um, I'm not 100% sure, I'll have to verify that. But I'll have all that information for you, and I'll do all the research with one of my friends, and then we'll feature it in the talk show this weekend. Okay, and I, um, I'm going to hope that the PC release happens concurrently with the console release. Well, I should just say Xbox 360 release, because as you might guess, Bethesda screwed up again a third time, and they're not going to be ready um, for the PS3, unfortunately. Um, in fact, we're not sure if they're ever going to resolve their quality issues that they claim they're having with the PlayStation 3. <clears throat> so, um, sorry, I really do sympathize with all the PS3 users. You know, they're like the underdogs in this whole Bethesda fiasco. But anyway, I'll devote the talk show to them, and I'll uh, repeatedly state my uh, discontent with Bethesda for screwing up the, the PS3 release. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's switch back to the game now. Alright, now get out of my way, Serana, or I'm going to belt you. Just joking. Now, I s oh, good. Now my eyes haven't completely failed me yet. I saw that movement over there. You know, if he were just say still, I wouldn't have noticed it. So it's his tough luck. And I, oh, that hell, that was easy. Boom. Oh, come on. There. I don't know why it gave me a kill shot if it didn't kill him. There. Yeah, that happens once in a while. It'll give you a kill shot when you don't actually kill the sucker. Hmm. And... Oh, yeah. Noisemakers. Okay. Oh, there's something else to loot. Let's just check in here really quick. I don't think there's anything worth... Nah. Nah. Just a bunch of food. Gee, now, what would that trip? <laughs> that would trigger the claw trap. Let's let Serana trigger it. There you go. And, gee, I wonder what that would trigger. <laughs> Let's let her trigger that, too. Ooh. Oh, okay. Uh, now there must be... Yep, there's another one up here somewhere. There he is. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start... Anytime she... You're lucky it didn't hit you. Oh, who's there? And... Uh, I'm almost out. Yep, I am out now. Shit. Boom. There. And she's... Whoa! I don't think so. This is a... Hmm. <laughs> there. Done and done. Well, yeah, thanks to my Ashama. All right, he had, she had River Betty. She wasn't, she didn't spend so much time collecting River Betty. Maybe she could fight a little bit better. Better Betty. Okay, now there's another. Yeah, there's like a second uh, little alley here that we can explore. Get that out of the way. Um, no, yeah, nothing there. You better not get in my way, Serana. Uh, let's see. Anything up here? Well, there's an arrow now, or a bow. Okay. It looks like all for that particular area. Uh, but I swear, yeah, we killed one more. I thought we killed one more even besides him, but I guess not. Who's there? Yep. Well, here, let me take this ore first, and then we'll see who's there. Good, silver ore. Oh, come on, I'm sure you can take him on. Oh, all right. Hi, hey, hey, behind you. <laughs> I'll even... I'll even alert you to my presence. Ah, there. Okay, good. And the long fin, yes. 
I can use that. Okay, so we are slowly covering. Oh, holy crap, what a mess. God, what is this? This reminds me of Shoots and Ladders. It is. It shoots and ladders. I think it's subliminally supposed to remind you of that. I don't know if you guys, most of you guys don't even know what I'm talking about. Shoot some ladders. It's an old game from the 70s. Before we had, get out of the way. Before we had computer games like this, we, we had to play shoot some ladders. Oh, come on. You're crying out loud. Get him. And one more and he's dead. Well, yeah. <laughs> I forget. You know, in Dishonored, you have to stand that far back to slice at the uh, soldiers that are attacking you. But I forgot in Skyrim, the quarters are a little closer. Ooh, Mammoth Tusk. Uh, I don't think I've ever encountered that. That must be a very rare ingredient. Indeed. Oh, I could always use the alchemy lab, too. I'm not going to bore you with that right now. Let's uh, move on. And I'll devote an entire episode to alchemy in a little while. So if, you, if you're not interested in it, then you can simply skip the episode and you won't miss anything. Kind of cool, huh? Now, let's see. Let's go down here. Yeah, I don't want to miss any of these huts. You never know. Oh, Serana, why don't you bang into everything that moves? And it sounds like she attracted someone. Okay, so don't forget those gems in there. Okay, yeah, we have to go down here and see what's at the bottom. Besides a huge mammoth skeleton. And there's more quicksilver ore. I need to get... Yeah, there we go. I want to get to the end here. Oh, it's more quicksilver. And an ore vein. So if you want to loot... So I'll mine that off camera. Just I'm not going to do it right now because it just waste our time, right? I'm just showing you where all the ore veins are. I do like doing that. Okay, uh, did we loot this dude? Yeah, we did. Okay, now I know there's more to it than meets the eye. Yeah, we have to go up here. Well, holy crap, there's another. <laughs> hey, I saw that. What's, what's up with all these moving eggs? Plentiful Magica, thank you, thank you. Petty Soul Gem, thank you. Okay. And there's another. Aha! And this goes where? This goes... Okay, we were already there. We killed him. Good. So that does it for this area. There we go. Uh, and I suppose we... Oh, we have to loot this guy really quick. Yep, Falmer Earsher. Okay, let's pause and save. All right, and now what? This leads, yep, this single path leads into the second part of the canyon. And holy crap. Man, I'll tell you, Shoots and Ladders has nothing on this huge Falmer infestation. Okay, let's, let's get out this, yeah. Oh, by the way, my Zapborgson. I think is out. Yes, one of my friends on YouTube mentioned that my charge was out. So let's charge this there, and then let's charge it again with another common. I think that's good enough for now. Yeah, this is uh, charged with um, a shock charge. See that? And then in addition, I'm using exploding steel bolts. So it's a double whammy. Anyone I hit, it's a double whammy. Now let's, and actually let's do triple and quadruple. There he is. Let's do triple and quadruple whammy, eh? Archery. Let's get on everything to do with archery. Oh god, he's gonna go down. Like one shot. Let's see what happens. And <laughs> see, I told you. And and then Serana gets in the way, of course. It wouldn't be. Yep. And I'm naked, so I just have to remember that I'm naked. Get out of the way, Serana. There you go. I'm trying to help her, but. And there's someone right behind her too. Okay, well let's we'll get rid of this stinking shadow monster. There. There. No, there's someone Wait, what's that? Oh, she raised him. Okay, got it. Got it. Ah. Okay, back. 
let's get some clothes on again the locket and yeah that's the problem now is anytime I take that off then I'm pretty much uh, crippled because uh, the lock of the St. Jib is what's giving me all my extra carry weight see that and without it watch this kaboom okay now oh not cream too so I can get my destruction on and there's my fire bolts back thank you don't mind if I do um, let's just see if there we missed a hut yeah we did miss a few huts okay we didn't miss any Falmer we just missed a few huts we're gonna have to end here in a moment I know it's it doesn't seem like we got very far but we actually we did we got all the way through one canyon um, and halfway through another yeah I don't need anything in there okay and holy bejesus Christmas crap look at that whoop okay oh no I'm not going in there yet let's save that for the next video those are uh, those um, fledglings yeah there's more chitons down there and what's this aha okay yeah that's where we're gonna go in the next video I just want to see why don't we just yeah we might as well loot really quick right just want to stay away from those and don't you trigger those either Serraner yeah there garnet pearl snowberries and see that's why you should explore each of these huts la, la. too noisy I don't need all that music yes it's beautiful but I don't need it okay yeah we already got him okay and, oh good so he just fizzled. Now I can loot him. I want my damn Boltson back. But I'm not going to get it. Oh yeah, so here's another one up here. Ooh, bees. Well, they had their own little apiary. Isn't that cute? And beehive. Wow. Fulmer. Actually, we're... See, they're not completely uh, feral. I mean, they have out of my way or you're gonna get it yeah thanks um, they actually had enough intelligence to care for an entire apiary oh wow then this must have been the chieftain's hut it is and there's the unknown book I'll take that um, it's just like the others you know it's just um, indiscernible writing um, and we have no idea what it says and here's the big chest too holy crap wall of flames I don't have that yet so I might as well read it good it works just like the other um, wall of shock that I never use or wall of lightning see here I'll show you and then we have to end for sure um, oh shit I have to read it first yeah um, there wall of flames and now the wall of flames looks like this there see much like the shock and then anyone walking over it will incinerate okay that's good enough for now and we'll continue in the next bit oh wow look at that so if you like this one then you can subscribe to my channel and you'll get all these skyrim videos in your inbox and remember the third dlc pack dragonborn is coming up soon also, um, come here every day for a new Skyrim video at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. We will see you next time in the Forgotten Vale. Thanks for watching.